Okay, being a black box, and hopefully we'll get time for Sechi in here, but basically you can see big objects here on your lower right, if you watch here. We'll come back and blow some of these objects up and realize that Earth is just but a speck of a dot on here, a very small dot, like a basically a, uh, a digital camera dot, okay? You can only put so many pixels in a picture on digital images, okay? Then they're getting better and better on the cameras, right? But the idea that just a digital dot on here is the size of Earth, so all that stuff you're seeing flying around the sun there to the right and the left is all, I mean, all over the screen is huge, 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 huge. It takes it almost 11 Jupiters to make the sun, okay? And Jupiter is something like uh, 300 times the size of, the of the Earth, okay? So let's go look at some huge, huge objects up by the sun that you can't miss. Now I always try to give you the freshest footage, and I've showed you tons of stuff here before. Uh, people that do go look at the same stuff I look at go like, you know, sometimes they'll miss something and, I'll th and they'll see something I've missed and stuff like that. So yes, we have a CME blast here, but as you see when we play this, this object here, which is roundish, of a severe shape, uh, and also this one, so, and we know that there's tons of stuff, and we know the sun is in the supergiants, main sequence, and all of these things are huge, and they all exist, and I'm not really sure if we'll see the remnant and so forth, but i just seen this stuff in motion, and then I'll go ahead and hit play, and you're going to see the same thing I s that you see right there, and you're going to see these things move away, okay, you see them move away? So there's huge stuff out there in space, ladies and gentlemen, and yesterday was even more dramatic than this, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for not getting the 26th footage up, and if you can research the 26th footage on this, and I'll give you the address down here on the bottom and up here on top, you should be able to see that. Okay, but you got to get yesterday's link, because this is of the 27th today, which UTC time is ahead of us by 8 hours East Coast time. Okay, so it was even worse than this yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. So... Do you think stuff runs into the sun? Like Fino has theory that actually is almost basically a thousand and a hundred percent factual, and it is because we know that uh, Lovejoy changed its phase when it came around the sun, and also we've seen tons of comets hitting the sun, and I've been saying it ever since we had the Fuka fudge up thing, and then I said there's tons of stuff, and yes. They always call, they call set, uh, Sun Grazer, okay? If you go to Sun Grazer, you go search Sun Grazer up, they've always called it grazing. Nothing can get in past all the force fields because the electrical force field is so damn high, and it is. And if you've seen the temperature going up and down, let's go take a look at the temperature today because you can see all that object to the, those two objects. And it's not a CME blast. If you slow it down, as you see, uh, you can actually, with this t with that speed there, and it comes around fast enough, it comes in again, you can see that it's not off of a solar blast. You see that? And it'll come around again, okay? That, those are the CME blasts and stuff like that, okay? Well, then, more than likely, then, if I am wrong, then those are huge CMEs. And basically, we did, a lot of people noticed those yesterday. Uh, Spaceweather.com reported it, and then our friend over at uh, Suspicious, whatever the heck his thing is, he's got those two minute, he's got a two minute thing you can look up. Look up Suspicious. I gotta get his link, because he's give you two minutes real fast every day of some good data. I think he sits up at late hours or early a.m. and gives it and puts out a real good two minute, nice and short, because all of us Americans have short attention span theater. That's why I try to keep mine to 15 minutes all the time, too, because there's so much going on that uh, life is not boring these days as far as uh, whatever you want powers to be of mother nature, father nature, or whatever you want to call it. Okay? Now, a good example is this fresh stuff here from the Navy, and basically want to show and give a big old thanks to everybody serving, all branches of the military. So layers and layers and layers, so you can understand that it's not just the sun up there that's doing all that, okay? I.e., you don't see the CMEs doing all that massiveness that you see on the other shot when you have it in a smaller light, okay? Yeah, so we on the other layers, you do get all these CMEs with what happens when it comes off, okay? So... Either that was huge CME, two objects coming, two big chunks coming off of the sun, or basically two big objects by the sun. I prefer to say that there was two big objects by the sun. Just keep watching the video on the other one. Back it up. Back up this video of mine. And we know about the M whatever it is, M48 through 50 or something. You can pick it out. It's usually right over here to the right. But there is something that came in up there high today that they didn't want you to look at. 
because they don't just put a pixel in there like that. It's not a mistake. They're usually blocking something that they don't want you to see out. Okay, and there's not much interesting here because basically they're shooting from a good distance, but you do have a huge CME. These are huge. I mean, th when you see just a CME like that, everybody just goes, well, that's not much. Well, that is huge, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Because the sun, like I say, is almost 11 Jupiters, which Jupiter is 300 times the size of just Earth, okay? So when that's doing that, that's still a huge CME. It's not humongous. You know, we have to get the dictionary out to get more explicit about how goddamn flipping huge all this CME action and everything up there by the sun is. And it is the sun and the supergiants doing it. Okay? And then you got the rising and setting of all these stars and all the planets and all everything flying around the sun. Okay? Because there's a lot of stuff in space, ladies and gentlemen. And this is just layers. There's lots of stuff in here they don't want you to see. I.e. the mass object over here to the right. You don't get to see it. And basically you do get to see what we were showing you in the gray layers too, is you will see it up here to the right. You see those objects there? So basically if I freeze it on the red color, you'll also see them. So basically they really don't look like CME action because you get all the CME action here. And up here where those two bubbles are at, there is no CME action. Not huge anyway. I mean CME action is right here. Okay, and you're going to see those bubbles right, see them right there? Let's see if I can freeze it. Okay, first we'll put it forward, and I'm stepping it, and you'll see those two bubbles that we just showed you on the gray, and then I'll up the size, and you can see it. It's there and there. Let me step forward some more, and then you'll see it. It looks like bubbles, shadows, okay? So it's going through the red. You can also pick it up on the red. So you can tell that it's not a CME, and if it is, it's CME from another sun that's behind the sun, okay? And I think I'll hit reverse here because it's basically just about ready to leave. And I will step, and you see it coming back. And I think you might notice it more if I go ahead and I will make it disappear by going back. We're going backwards. Okay, now I'm going to go forwards. You'll see them come over. And remember, you're watching right up here. Okay, watch there. Okay, now we're going to step them, and you should be able to see them go past the picture line. Okay, and then I think the little one is somewhere there, but we'll bring it back, and you'll see the big one. And there's two of them, and you can see them. And then what I'll do is I'll blow it up a little bit. We'll do it at, we'll do it at like 200%. Okay, and then you should be able to pick that in there, and I should be able to get the player. Can I get the player? And there we go. We should be able to step forward, I think. Or I think I'm going backwards. So I'm going backwards. Okay, now we're going to step those bubbles out. And here comes those two huge, humongous objects in space because it's bam and bam and you can see it real good on the gray earlier so just back up the video and it's pretty much the same objects okay there they go and then we'll bring them back suck them back into the sun and as you see we're sucking whatever CME stuff back too okay but that's not CME from the sun it's from something behind the sun either that or it's huge planets And to refresh your mind, instead of you, if you don't reverse, and you can also see this stuff pretty good at this shot here too, so I'll pop it up to 200, and we'll take a look, and you can kind of see the object up. So I'll just let this play, I think this playing at good enough speed that you'll end up seeing. Okay, there's your CME blast of what we were looking at in the red a little bit ago, and then you also see the object that's above the sun that's huge. Watch. Hear it? There, they blotched it, okay. It looks like you get to see it when it's coming in. Watch this area here, and then it'll come up where that square is at. And I think you also can see to the right. You're going to see what you see, but you can pretty much tell that if you watch this close enough, the same area, these t those two blotches there, watch these two blotches here. It's basically not coming off the, what we figure to be the sun right there in the front. Okay, and we do know that uh, Rigel, Cantaris, A and B are there and so forth. And they're supposed to be major distances apart and stuff like that. But we know that space is a lot more crowded than what they have always showed it and let us believe. And then we go back to the what I originally was showing you. Okay, and we'll blow this up right away to like 400. And then you can see all this huge stuff. Because ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, 
Earth is just but a little black dot. If you see a black dot anywhere here, real tiny, like a pixel, that's how big Earth is. Earth is smaller than all these objects you're seeing here. These objects are huge. Jupiter is 300 times the size of Earth. And so you know that this is the shot. And then all this material, and this is not the first time I've showed you all this material. If you watch over here to the right on this CME, I was wanting to try to see if it's something coming off the sun in the CME or if it was actually just some material, or I mean actually huge objects or something coming by on the lower right. Because as you see, the size of this stuff here that conglomerates in here, there's some huge stuff. So you can make up your own mind whether it's coming out of the CME or if it's up around or way far away from the sun too. A lot of these stuff, these objects can be way millions of miles, who knows, billions of miles away from the sun and they're just bright and showing up. And then you see the V, you know, you, you're going to see the V actions all over the place. So there's tons of triangulation of objects in space, and space is very busy. It's not just that black that we've always known from ever seeing Mars, I mean, seeing the moon footage. And I'm patriotic as hell, but the actual factual is actual factual. So if you've watched my videos enough, you know, and basically the factual truth, ladies and gentlemen, China's going to go to the moon, okay? It's that simple. Uh, U.S. is probably going to go back up there. I don't know if we'll be a space race and we'll beat the China to the moon again or if we'll go up after China has went up. But we know we've been to the moon before. so And that's an actual factual. And waiting basically uh, for uh, NASA to give us our imaging of all that satellite action. We know those satellites are working damn good that are supposed to be x-raying the moon. Okay, so remember, folks, this is the sun. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Now this CME is actually a little late, and I don't know if they've went and redone this for that, because uh, that's a CME. This here, there's a huge CME direct hit that came off of the sun here, and this is the Earth is green in this shot, okay? See if I can pump this up a little bit. We'll go to like 150 and see what we get. There you go. And you can see the days coming by. And there comes that direct CME off of the sun. Now basically this is a little late. Because basically it was supposed to, and basically it did, Java players were a little glitchy yesterday. So we were getting some CME electrical current to ground coming through our atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen. But it's a little late, but it'll be here pretty good today on the 27th. So uh, I'm surprised. I haven't had any glitches today, but I have a lot of cloud cover and rain today. So it'll absorb it down. If there's a lightning strike somewhere, it would go down where that lightning strikes at or... The, it'll actually ricochet off the clouds and end up statically going to ground in a dry area possibly. We don't know. NASA has got to be nice if someone could spooge some truth to me on that one. But what, it does make sense that it would go in a lightning strike. So anyway, that's a huge CME that's hitting Earth. and We're green on this map here, okay? It's the sun is the yellow, and that's the huge CME that came off. And it was a little bit C and below, okay? But there is an M that came off of the sun today. Okay, M-class CME today, huge one. And wow, look how much of our solar has dropped in temperature. Okay, and then they're saying quiet right now. you got to remember, but they put this in early, and that uh, M-class has came off. We'll see if the data shows it through at all. There's your auroral. And as you see, we did calm down yesterday, okay? But then it picked right back up with a coronal mass ejection there and then another one today. So this is a little bit behind on data, folks. you got to remember that this isn't brand new fresh. Okay. And let's take a look at... So it was a high C yesterday and then we got an M today. And it's not on here yet, okay? And once again, watch for quakes in the yellowish, yellow, red, and the mauve and pink. Okay, that's your susceptible quake areas. Have a good day. And off the coast of Northwest Territories, up above BC, there was a 4.4 and a 4.0 today, and also a 4.7. Chile, South America, Brazil. There you go. South America, 4.7.